what we're doing is we're going around to communities and listening to your perspectives about your communities and what you see as far as dental workforce issues. Do you guys have enough dentists? Do you have ECP hygienists? What do you think of the model? Have you tried to recruit dentists to your community? What successes, failures? I'm just interested in anything that you guys have to say about dental workforce. The purpose of this assessment was to provide Kansas with information about the dental professionals that are currently working within the state. So what we did is we not only surveyed the dentists and selected dental hygienists, but we also went out into the communities to find out what community members thought about how dental access was working. Are these dental professionals that are working in the state providing enough care to meet the needs of the population? We try to show dentists they'll make more money in a smaller community than they'll make in, in, in Overland Park or Kansas City. There really is, the reason I asked the question earlier about the charity care, how much was available, is because I have a sense that there's a real problem with how much really can be available in a given market. We have, uh, we have uh, more than one dentist, and so in the mornings we have an open call for emergency problems. You know, we give, you know, we have funding to clinics who cannot find a provider to hire.